I am Charlene de la Cruz. Today I have with me Taylor, Catherine, and Caroline. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, we're from the Ursuline School in New Rochelle, New York, and we came down for a service trip. We're all, uh, I'm a junior, and Caroline's a junior. And I'm a sophomore. Okay, can you tell me uh, your names and where are you from, and a little more? I'm Caroline, and I'm from Pleasantville, New York, and I'm 16 years old. I'm Catherine, I'm from East Chester, New York, and I'm 16. I'm Taylor, I'm 15 years old, and I'm from Fleetwood, New York. Okay. You're on a visit here in Guyana. Can you tell me a little about the visit? Um, we worked at um, St. Anne's in um, Georgetown. Um, we worked with the orphans there and we helped out some of the sisters who live at the Ursuline Convent. Um, and we visited around Georgetown. Mm -hmm. um, and then we took a trip down to Karasabai and uh, okay. we worked with the kids in the school there. Okay. Would you like to add a little to what you were saying? Um, yes. So we came down for service because at our school, Ursuline, the motto is Serviam, so we really tried to embrace that. Okay. Well, there's a lot of Ursulines here, and one of our uh, teachers actually came down to work here. So we had an Ursuline connection, so we uh, were talking to them and decided to come down and visit. What do you, when you go back to New York, what are some of the things you hope to, to achieve? Well, we really wanted to learn about the education system and just about the culture in general so we could bring that back to New York and show how a different country celebrates the same faith. Okay, what would you like? Um, when we were in Karasavai, we really learned, we were teaching the children, and we really learned how hard it is to be a teacher and how hard it is to have children that won't, won't answer <laughs> you. So we really have a greater appreciation for teachers now. Okay. Um, how was the trip to Karasabai? It was a total culture shock, especially from um, Georgetown. It's a lot more peaceful and kind of secluded. So um, we just totally got a different feel of the country. Mm -hmm. It was very different from Georgetown. <laughs> Definitely more difficult from where you're from. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. The countryside was also beautiful, all the mountains. We hiked up them and it was really pretty. Oh, really? That's really good. Mm -hmm. Well, I had the opportunity to visit Karasabai twice. Um, I'm not from there originally. I'm from the north of Guyana, so I, I was really happy when I visited there. It was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the main things I realized, in New York, we're so lucky with the amount of water we have. Yes. yes. You can just get a drink from the sink. Mm -hmm. But down there, it's really rare to get water. We only had one working shower. We all had to take <laughs> turns. And it was just like a dribble, so. And uh, yeah, it was very, it's especially their dry season, right? Yes. So it's very hard during the dry season. OK. Um, it was also really interesting to see how an environment shapes how a person is or how a community works. Like, for example, in um, Karasabai, because it's so secluded, um, the people seem to be more, um, I guess, shy in a way, um, as opposed to the people here, where it's very loud. <laughs> um, and they seem yeah. to be a little bit more outgoing. Mm -hmm. so. okay. The one thing also about that, since they were so, compl uh, what is it, um, far apart, when they came together for church, the mass was very lively. They got really excited oh, because yeah. that's their one time that they really get to join together. And it was it was also very interesting to see the children in Cross by. They don't have that much, but they're still so happy. Mm. And also the children at St. Anne's, they've been through so much, but they're still able to wear a smile on their face every day. Yeah. Um, have you had a chance to visit Marian Academy? Yes, yes. we actually shadowed um, six girls there okay. um, yesterday and today. Okay, so what was your experience um, in the Ursuline School here in Guyana and the one in New York? How would you say? Um, the girls here are very similar, like socially <laughs> yeah. to us. Yeah. They knew all the songs we were talking about. The school is a bit different. It's set up differently, but I think we're mostly learning the same things. Mm. We're also all girls, and they're co-ed, so it was cool to see how different 
um, the environment was because of that. Okay. It was a lot like Ursuline though. Their classes and just everything about it was a lot like Ursuline. Okay. Um, so if you had not a chance to come to school here in Guyana, would you ever think of coming here? Mm. Yeah, I, I really so. I like the culture here. I like how they're all yeah. happy. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely come back. Okay. Um, I'm Anna. I'm 16, and I go to the Ursuline School in New Rochelle, New York. I'm Vilma. I'm 16, and I go to the Ursuline School in New Rochelle. I'm Holza. I'm 15, and I go to the Ursuline School in New Rochelle. Can you tell me a little about your visit here? We first got to Guyana well, Thursday night, and. We were in Georgetown for two days, and then we went to Karasabai for around three, and now we're back. And we've been helping out at St. Anne's Orphanage, and we helped at a primary school in Karasabai. Okay. And would you like to share anything? Um, in Karasabai, we taught the kids. We spent times in separate classrooms. We each took a grade. And we, I was in the fourth grade, and I taught the kids fractions. We worked on equivalent fractions, and it was very fun. We played games. Mm. And at St. Anne's, we're tutoring some of the some of the girls there, like separately, each of them. Okay. Um. How did you find that? Was it difficult? Um. Some of them are more behind in their studies than I expected them to be. Like, um. Like some of them are in fifth grade, and they're still having trouble reading and like knowing the numbers and stuff. Okay. I think it was a learning experience to sit there and have to go slowly and help them read. But I think it's it was fun for me because I could teach her words that she didn't know before and she thought I was like the coolest person in the world because <laughs> I knew how to say those words. And I just taught her tricks, how to oh, remember yeah. them. Yeah, it was difficult because like Holda said, some of the girls are behind, but I am like... It was a good learning experience too to help other girls and they like they really like us when they help us and to know that you're like appreciated for that has helped me like grow. Okay. That's what the ultimate goal is to do service at Ur for Ursuline and to be good students and role models. Okay. Would you like to share any other thing? Uh yeah, we came here to serve and help those who needed our help and like Vilma said to um help them learn new things and to keep them motivated so they can stay in school and just grow. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, at our school, before we came, we, we put a fundraiser up and we raised a lot of money and we brought school supplies and games and other things for the kids in Cross by and at St. Anne's. And I think we came for to help the children and introduce them to new things that they don't have. Okay. When was your visit in Cross by? How did you find it there? Um, I wasn't, I, what I found there wasn't what I expected to. I expected there to be, um, I didn't expect them to be as happy as they were, and they were really happy and spirited, and they were running around the whole time, and it was, like, it was a really nice experience. It made me appreciate a lot of the things that I have, because the people in Karasabai, they don't have a lot, but they walk around with such happiness, and every single little thing they value, and just... The, the little things, they're just so happy if you like play a game with them or if you, they love to play fox and chicken and <laughs> the whole time we were there we played chicken and fox and it was just the greatest thing. I thought Karasavai like opened my eyes to see different cultures around the world and how people live and the people in Karasavai are the very friendly people and it helped like me learn that they don't have mu as much as we have so I'm just really appreciative of what I have back home. Ursulines are all over the world. Yes. yes. How, why did you choose Guyana? Well, New Orleans and Ursuline School in New Orleans, they came to Guyana um, a couple years ago. And I think that's where we kind of started. We realized how much fun their trip was and how amazing their trip was. But also, more importantly, Sister Anne, she's an Ursuline sister. She used to work at Ursuline and we have a strong connection with her, and she works at St. Anne's, and we thought that it'd be a great idea to come to St. Anne's, visit Sister Anne, and help. I'm very happy that you guys visit, visited here, and I hope that uh, your experience will help you to be better people than who you are already, and I hope that one day you'll be able to